Hello and welcome to Kiss Magizing. So today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance and I'm just going to do it in person uh, in this format. And we are using the Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So go ahead and um, make an, a selection between the options number one, two or three and then we'll get right into it. All right. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, uh, we are asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? So the card that comes up that's coming up is family. And it reads, loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. All right. So in this week, you might find that your family demands a little bit more of your attention, or you might find that uh, there are some matters related to your family that are not, uh, not where they are directly demanding your attention or your time, but where your thoughts revolve around family matters or um, some of your heritage or your ancestry. Or perhaps you're thinking about how you might have inherited certain um, either skills or flaws or either, whatever, negative, positive, um, whatever you've inherited from your family. And it might be something that has come up for you uh, at this time. I think also that um, you kind of learn at this moment to understand your family in, in a different context. And you might completely redefine your relationship to your family at this time. Or it might be planting the seeds of redefining your relationship to your family. So it might be that, you know, you actually step away from your family because you feel that you've been giving too much or you might be that it might be that you start to think okay well maybe I need to really uh, look a little bit more about how I can make a contribution to the situation with regard to my family and how can I be more productive as far as that is concerned so I think in some way or the other family is going to come up for you in this week I think also that um not just with uh, family, but you might find that with close friends or with people that you have really close relationships, you might find that you are considering your relationships more. It might be your work family, people that you work with regularly and that you spend a lot of time with, and that you are redefining your relationships with them, you're contemplative about your relationships with them, and this is something that is actually giving you. Um, something to think about in terms of your transformation at this moment. So I think that the context, the energy at this moment is very much about transformation. It's very much about uh, shifting and transitioning. And I think that this could be um, one of the things that instigates a certain change in your life or, or inspires a change in your life, all right? Let me see if there's anything else here. I think also, you know, spending time with family or or having fun or having t time with yourself um, in a relation or something, having time with yourself where you are having fun in a way that you might have experienced this as a child. So it might be also if you, if you are not having anything to do with your family at this moment or you're not inspired by anything by your family, you might it might be that you're revisiting your childhood on some level or the other, maybe uh, participating in sports that you might have played in uh, or participated in as a child that you might be reintroducing into your life at in this week. And I think that is something that um, you can also consider. Perhaps um, there was a particular activity that your family did with you when you were a child and you've decided to reintroduce that into your life. Um, yeah, so it's I think that you're going to find that there's been some something in your life, something that or that is inspired by something of your childhood or something of family, whether it be your own biological family or uh, any other type of family that you have, a soul family perhaps as well. So that is my take on this card. I just want to see if there's something else here. If you are having some family difficulties at the moment, if you are having some uh, kind of um, 
challenge or you ha- are having to face something together as a family, I think just ask, pray and ask for, for guidance and also just uh, invite the support, invite divinatory support into your life by uh, opening the door with prayer and ask for, you know, ask for assistance, ask for guidance, ask for protection as you go through this time. That is important. And don't don't forget that. And I think this angel here is watching, you know, it's like showing you that you, you can have that help and that assistance or that support or um, somebody to just hold that space for you from an energetic perspective. And that's going to, to be the case. All right. So I hope that that helps you. Uh, and yes, I hope that that's a message that um, somehow is um, is relevant to you and helps you in this week as you go along. So for those of you who've chosen option number two, um, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And we have the card options. So it says career, consider the career possibilities that are open to you. Um, Yes. So who is faced with options? Who is at a crossroads in their life? Please write to me below. Who is having to make many decisions about how they go forward, what they um, believe to be the right way forward. If you are in a flux with regard to your options at the moment, I don't think that is something that you need to be concerned about. I think it is that time where it's like everything is up in the air and you have the opportunity to be able to choose and go in a completely different direction than you have been already. And it's not really clear which direction you can go into. It's, it's a time where you um, require to make some kind of um, contemplation, thought process around that. It's something that it's not necessarily going to be clear in this upcoming week. It's not necessarily going to be, um, the answers are not necessarily going to come to you at this time. It is a kind of state of limbo that you might find yourself in here where you are quite reflective, quite contemplative, you might be asking questions, you might be asking for help, for guidance, but it's not necessarily right there. And what I'm picking up here is that it's still the time for that. The time for that is right now, and that's good that you have that time, but I also think that you have to um, you have to let it come by itself. You're gonna, What you're going to find is that you might be in, in confusion a little bit longer here, and you might find that... Um, the answers don't really come up right now. It might be that it comes up perhaps in a few weeks from now or a month from now. You, are, I think what will happen is that maybe the full moon will come up shortly and then you'll be like, okay, I kind of know what I, where I'm going to. Or you might find that by the following full moon, not the one that's coming up now, but by the following one that you actually have um, some guidance as to how to move forward. It might be that it only happens around the equinox, like around the 21st of March or so, um, that you have between the 18th and 21st of March, March that you find what what your answers are. But right now is the time, it's time to contemplate all of that. Mm. You might find that even if you're not in a kind of um, deep process of changing careers or contemplating a different pathway or changing homes or... Uh, look, going in a different direction, if you're not in that kind of situation, you might find that you have some kind of existential um, questions that come up that where you're considering like, what am I really doing here? Am I satisfied in the situation that I'm in right now? Is this the right thing that, that I have to do for myself right now? And is it the right way for me to go forward? I feel here that, you know, there's, it's almost like you see the water and the softness that you have here and then this hard rock here. It almost feels like you either have to go in one direction or you have to go in the other direction and there aren't many options. And that there's like this, the two options that you have are completely different from each other. And I think that that might be a situation that many of you find yourselves in right now. You might find that, okay, you're kind of stuck um, 
between this rock and and this hard place would naturally usually that's the saying but between this this space here which is quite um kind of fixed and um solid and it's almost like unchanging and then you have this ever-changing uh ever moving oh what's happened here uh, yeah ever moving kind of atmosphere and you might feel that you have to go in either this direction or that direction but i feel like there's a middle ground and you have to figure out how it is that you integrate some aspect of your life that may perhaps be an old aspect of your life and a new aspect of your life uh, or some two different aspects of your life it's like how do you bring it together and i feel like right now a lot of people are actually looking at how to merge different careers that they have you know you, you might be it might be that somebody's a photographer but you also uh, work with animals and you know how do you bring those two things together how do you it, like not it's not going to be as obvious as oh i photograph animals as a result it's not going to be like that i think it's going to be more like you find a middle ground or you be, you're able to express yourself to the world and say well here i am i am a photographer and i'm also somebody who works with animals and you know you need to like accept me as i am it's not that that thing anymore where you have to just be one person you know i personally worked as a filmmaker previously and now i i do this and i've also worked in other areas as well in ngos etc in research and so i think that you know it's like how do you bring it all together and integrate it and that's interestingly also a question that i have in my life at this moment so um i think that um that's one thing i think that what is really necessary for you is actually to be able to create that balance here for you internally and if you're able to find that balance internally then your outward world is going to exude um it's going to it's going to uh ex express that it's going to be you know it's going to express itself through that you're going to find it's going to find an outlet through that it's going to this balance is going to radiate out of you and create balance in other areas of your life and things will happen quite naturally i think also don't overthink things don't let it like you know mull over in your mind too much just sit down and write stuff down i think if you have lots of thoughts in your head and you kind of like just like wondering you know how do i go and what do i do and just sit down and put it to paper and see what comes out of it or talk to a friend or talk to many friends or, or just you know record uh a kind of you record your thoughts you know so you get some you get it out of you because i feel what needs to happen here is that you need to get it out of you and once you've done that then you can you have some some way of of moving forward i feel like you might feel like you like a bit like you don't have many um ideas about this like your ideas are sparse i'm getting this word sparse i'm getting that um there's like you don't have necessarily a lot of energy a lot of um a momentum to move forth with a kind of decision that you might need to make and i feel that that isn't a problem and you shouldn't think that it's a problem i think that when the time is right it will come together and in the meantime this is the time to kind of think about all the things that you need to think about um just right now so that when you are ready to make a decision when you're ready to take action then it will come together well and you don't need to worry about maybe a lack of skills or maybe a lack of uh, energy or maybe a lack of uh, good health to be able to do what you need to do uh, or maybe lack of um of um pre prior experience or even um you know maybe for for some of you the idea is that okay well i want to go into a particular direction of my life but i don't uh hail from that that um sphere of society and so i'm trying to um traverse these kind of um you know barriers of society that's a, that you know like changing statuses in a way and i think that that is that could be a, a something that makes you feel quite thin or when makes you feel quite uh inca incapacitated so if if you're feeling like that just like just brush it off for the moment it's okay to just be in limbo for a moment and to be between things all right i'm going to leave it there i hope that helps you and if you aren't going through any of these changes and 
you aren't uh, inspired by this. Um, I'm not really, I think then the option for you, then I think the message is just like trying to create, maintain a balance that you might have created already and just focusing on that, not really not really overthinking things too much and not really thinking too much about what others might say or do. You might also find that right now others don't really have um, anything to offer you as far as guidance is concerned. And it might be that you're seeking this guidance outside, but you need to be seeking it within. All right. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Let me know if it has. All right. And I'm going to move on. Many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen option number three, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? Author. So how many of you have, have been thinking before you came to this reading today, Oh, I really need to edit those pieces that I've been doing and put it out there. I really need to share some of my writing with someone. Or I know I'm a good writer. Maybe I should do something about that. Uh, maybe I should use that aspect of my life or put that out there in some way. Um, or how many of you have been told recently that, or in the past, that your writing is really good and that they've enjoyed reading it and it's been a pleasure for them for you and I think that um, here it's not just about writing it's just not it's about storytelling you know it's about telling your story and um, perhaps some of you at this moment need to tell your story perhaps you need to think about your life and what your life has been and where you're headed to maybe you need to look back at at some of your experiences and write about that. Perhaps you need to think about that and that's going to shed some light about how you're going to go ahead. I just want to read the caption here. It says, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. So that is, um, yeah, maybe there's something there that needs to be done. I found that personally speaking, but not just personally, but with people, with a lot of clients and, and friends as well, and family, that writing can prove to be a really healing uh, activity, it can have a very healing function. Like even if you're just scribbling down something, you're doing a brainstorm, or you're just putting down some thoughts in a journal format, or you're just writing an experience that you've had with a friend, to a friend, um, or to someone that you're sharing that with. And that actually, it shifts something. It takes it outside of you and kind of process, it, sorry, it takes it from inside, deep inside of you and it processes it and it expels it. And I feel that as you do that, you're releasing emotions, you're releasing experiences, you're releasing endorphins maybe, you're releasing kind of something that that needs to be released as a result of you having a particular kind of experience. And I think writing is a way to do that. Now, this card has come up as an author, but I feel that, you know, you don't have to just do it in terms of writing. I think like creativity um, is, can be expressed in all forms. You know, you can write, you can sing, you can, you can write lyrics, you can make music, you can paint your story. But I think what's important here is a story. There's a story that needs to come out of you. There's a story that needs to be told this, and that's going to have some kind of healing effect. And I think that's going to be quite um, it's going to be quite, it's going to shift something for you. I feel that that's really important. In fact, if you have some time after you watch this video, just go and sit and write for like 15 minutes or half an hour uh, or, or draw or sing or, or paint or express in some way or the other. Perhaps you do something with clay or something with your hands. But um, just express and see what needs to come out. There's something that needs to be birthed from you there's something that needs to burgeon out of you and I think that it needs to come forth something needs to come forth from you into the world I think that that is the message here I think if you feel like afraid to to take a step or to share your feelings with someone or some people um, and you just are kind of stuck. I think it's, 
I think if you just sit down and write for a while that you're going to find that it's really going to be very helpful to for you. I think there's one more thing I want to say here. Um, there's something else that's coming up for me with regard to this card. I think that you could you need to create a lot more um, serenity in your life or you need to be very present or in the moment with regard to certain things. Just allow serenity to come into your life and allow uh, kind of the life force, your life force to be renewed through things like plants or nature or water just that, like watching the clouds in the sky or something there's something here which uh, you need to bring that presence that kind of you need to like fill your cup you know by something that is outside of you by something that is nature that's, and that's natural that's organic and just to be in that space is enough for you to just fill your cup again and feel better and feel feel rejuvenated or just to give you a, a bit of energy all right so i that's been a, I've, i feel like i've said everything i need to say with regard to this one i think there's more here that needs to be unpacked but i think that if you write or you express yourself in some way that all of that's going to come through so i feel here like you know it's like a cupboard that's been stacked and you just keep putting things in there and then you open the door and everything falls out uh, and I think that this is this card has that feeling, and I feel like I want to describe all those things that come out of that cupboard, but I think that that's a mistake. I think that what I need to do is tell you to go ahead and unpack that for yourself and describe it for yourself, so that you can make headway in your life and work through what needs to be worked through and declutter. Uh, as far as that is concerned all right so i'm gonna leave it there i hope that that's been helpful and that this message is um yeah these messages have been have been good for you and are going to help you in your week as you go ahead i'm sending you much love and many many blessings um to all of you may you all be safe and healthy and well and blessings abound from kismet rising